I guess it's good time as any to mention that uh, I finished exploring the world and there's kind of like nothing here. There's five reeds in this little bit of swamp and there's a couple of three or four square patches of swamp. There are no tall birds at all on the map. I have been to every edge. There are four portholes or wormholes. That one goes to there and that one goes to there and that's the end of the story and I've been on every map edge and through every part of the map so I, I'll hit those two little places but I kind of <laughs> uh, I kind of doubt they lead anywhere uh, so no tall birds and uh <clears throat> No tall birds and no real swamps. I guess there were five tentacles total. So, so kind of odd. So I'm getting ready to move on to the next world. Figuring out the stuff I want to take with me. My God, after all this time. Spiders are still kicking that. This is from when I first started this game. That's what's making these videos so jerky is I really thought that certain things would happen and they never panned out. I assume that's because this is an adventure mode thing and they're just, oh, I didn't even think about the effect of that derp. Now, where's my king? I think he was hiding me. No, that was a different world where the king was hiding behind the crapper. There were a lot of spiders and he just said F it. Went to hide behind it. He just said to heck with it and went to hide behind his crapper. That's still what those pig houses look to me like. But see, we'll have plenty of gold, and I guess I'll lose my marbles again. I thought about keeping my little rocket. I only have one. Eddie mentioned it was nice. Well, he didn't mention it was nice, but he mentioned it, that I was getting a golden shower here. Not here specifically, but this whole thing in general. This is pretty cool at night. We may have to stay around till night to uh, be able to go back through safely. Well, flowers, I think you're screwed because I'm not going to uh, worry about picking you. Oh, I might as well say it now because I'm sure I'll keep some of this. Uh, Negative Hell wanted me to see the winter hat. My thought on that was to go ahead and wear it while I'm insane and chasing down rabbits. And maybe we could do Insanity in the Snow with rabbits. It'll be kind of a preview. As far as I know, the next update is winter. And uh, evidently there'll be walrus hunters. And I think that might be a bit of a pun in the sense that the hunters are walruses. And what it's, a, I guess, a father and son team. And what they're doing is evidently hunting you. Or anyway, that's what the clues lead to, so. And I think I've got links to stuff like that, and I'll put those up in here, too. But I've just about got everything I want to, and I'm not sure what to do. I don't, I think the thing to do is to make many bases along the way, M-I-N-I. -I, and, because uh, there's only four more levels after this. And uh, I don't, there's no point in building a whole base and doing the whole thing. And after I've done all five levels, assuming, that, of course, that I can, uh, I don't know. I think I'll try another adventure map, but boy, if, if it pans out that there's, I don't have everything to play a game in, I'm going to go back to Sandbox because this is bull. I mean, no tall birds and no real swamp. It's like, so I farm and do stuff with the beefalo? <laughs> All right, there you have the gold in the nighttime. Oh, old Wilson could do the, the, the dream here. He can, uh, the richy rich dream. He can lay down in a bed of gold. And I'm bad about looking at these numbers. It's just I don't think about it. I just adjust things however is necessary to play the game. It's, you know. 
So good night, everybody. Good night, Wilson. And here we are. Now pick up that gold, Wilson. I'm a little dwarf and I love my gold. I pick it up as fast as my little dwarf and hands will go. Thank you, Mr. Pig King. It's all nice. Love my gold. I wish I could make it into food and eat it up, yum. Stuff it up, me bum. Yeah, I'd say we, uh, there was no reason to sacrifice my beloved gnomes. I've opened up virtually all the prototypes. I couldn't open up the pan pipe. What else couldn't I open up? Couldn't open a pan pipe because I don't have reeds. I have five reed plants. <laughs> couldn't do the, uh, click, click, click. Could not do the feathered hat because I don't have two tentacle spots. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. It's like, excuse me. Now, I understand. I think it's good that people do the all the, you know, all the stuff they're testing because it helps the game. And I have no regrets about doing this, but I don't want to play long term in a very, very flawed world. This one's actually worse than some of the test maps I was on. Oh, I was going to go ahead and put the night armor on to get the crazy faster. Oh, and we ought to get out here in the darkness. I'm crazy and I'm in the darkness and it's snowing. This is your winter uh, preview. Oh, that looks great. I like that. I was stationed on a remote radar site in uh, Nebraska. My dad was. I was. And I was a kid. And we used to get six foot snow drifts. And we would walk on them when they, the sun shines and melts the snow and then it refreezes at night and you can walk on the crust but sometimes you'd fall through it was good times for a kid of course of course that's what I was so what that sent us up we're at what 33.51 so it's not affecting that at all so that's great uh, where are we? Getting a little bit low. So now we need the bunnies. Well, I don't have room to pick anything up. That was badly planned. It might have been the problem. If you're standing next to something that you can pick and you do space bar, You'll reach the picket instead of catching the boomerang. If there's any way to screw something up, I'll find it. My thanks to Negative Hell, you have uh, found a way to perk this process back up. Yep, now it. And Wilson died from hitting himself with his own boomerang. Not to mention wore his boomerangs out. I don't know if I've got anything that heals. Now, where are you, Chester? Okay, as I said, uh, it's a dark sword in the pack. Oh my god, we went up to 50? I didn't mean to do that. Get off me, monster. Oh, 
Oh shit. I don't want to die fighting this guy. I didn't bring the candy. Oops. Ride, Wilson. planned now let's see okay going insane again fighting uh, night critters without uh, healing stuff was not smart and I just totally spaced out of the crap in my backpack okay so we're golden here so back to harvesting. That's the terror beak, is what they're calling it. I was calling it the big parrot. I see you, terror beak. And he's faster than Grease Lightning. Holy crap, why am I getting a terror beak? Four, I should be fine. I don't know why I'm getting the terror beak. Maybe I should pretend to be a bush. Now I hadn't even made one of these. <laughs> so and we're going down, so we can't we can't be a bush too long. Evidently being a bush. Is it sane? Let's be a bush close to the fire. I'll probably catch on fire the way I'm doing. <laughs> no being a bush even close to the fire is not sane. I should have built a camp here, but with a dead. W to, to me, if if you don't, to me, if you don't have all the stuff in the world, it's a dead world. I mean, it was something minor, but to me, tall birds and uh, swamps aren't minor. Oh, we've reached equilibrium. Where we ah, oh, there we're going up. You almost have to stand in the fire. The fire might be dying down. Now I don't I have no idea how much night fuel I actually have. And uh, night armor seems to send you down so fast. 
kind of hoping for, I guess I should have panned out. Problem is, you either have his expressions or the stuff around you. And we lose his expressions, I guess, with that. So stop being a bush. Put the bush down. Because sunlight will raise it. There you go. There's the Wilson expression. I guess the terror be pissed off. Meaning went away. And it's bunny time. See, we're going up just because it's daylight. Having that up there is a real bad thing. <laughs> 